Hello and welcome back to the Lynn Lowdown. I'm Danny Vittori and today we have on someone from Brightview Addiction and Recovery Center. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, thank you. My name is Dan Buhay. I'm the Community Outreach Manager for Brightview Health down in Lynn. Great. Now, say thank you again for coming on. And you said you have been in Lynn for about a year or so? Yes, yes. so we so we opened up um, September of 2022. So we're going on a year of, uh, of being in Lynn. Yep, so we're right on Monroe Street. Oh, great. And could you give a quick overview of what your organization does? Yeah, so what Brightview is, is we are an outpatient um, addiction care center. So an outpatient uh, addiction care tre addiction treatment center. Um, and we provide, you know, we'll provide outpatient treatment to all of our patients. Um, you know, and, and with, with, with outpatient treatment, patients are able to really stretch that out, you know, over the course of however long they want. Um, and for that, you know, we'll, we'll be there for them uh, for however long they ever need, however long they need to be, um, just getting them better one day at a time. That's always the motto is one day at a time. That's it. And you were even saying before we got on air how great it's been to meet everyone in Lynn because you you're in a relatively new position yourself. Correct. Yes. I've been doing this going on uh, since December. So what is that? Whatever that is, seven, eight months. Yeah. Um, and just since the day I, you know, I, 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 you know, I, I got here in Lynn, it's just been each time I meet someone, somebody new from a different uh, program, it's just, um, you know, I'm just meeting people who would just have the same passion and motivation just to make Lynn a better place. Mm -hmm. Whether they're from Lynn, uh, whether they just happen to be working in Lynn, uh, it's the same motivation, it's the same goal to, is to make, you know, each and every person in Lynn uh, that much better. Uh, and it's just, it's very, you know, it, it's just being able to meet all these people, it's just, it's been very refreshing to just come into a community like this and really just hit the ground running and uh, just try to make this community a better place. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And I'll ask, you hear the word addiction a lot. Like, what, what is it? How would you define it? I bet, I think the one word that really you could, the best way to describe addiction is just acknowledging that it is a, it is a disease. Mm -hmm. So it's a disease, it, it's a disease like any other. Um, it's a chronic disease, it's a progressive disease, and really can, can be a fatal disease. You know, the medical diagnosis for addiction is substance use disorder. And although people who suffer from substance use disorder, you know, you know, although it may be fatal, you know, with the right treatment, you know, you can achieve long, you know, long-term recovery from your addiction over time. Definitely. And one thing I think was interesting in the way that you presented it is not only do you focus on the substance use disorder, but also any other factors that could be affecting them, like food, health, transportation. Yeah, that's the that's the thing too. Is is it, and that's really just kind of, you know, a representation of you know my my, my coworkers in Lynn is just you know they come in and have the same you know they just they just care so much about each and every patient that comes to our door. It's it's not just helping them out with you know the medical services of, of it or even the therapeutic services of it. It's just doing the simple things of like you know we want to get you better. If that entails you know having get, getting you a plate of food, you know we'll do that. If it entails helping you out with housing, helping you out with an you know getting getting you an occupation, like we're gonna do all that. Like we it's you know, outpatient treatment is it's a it's it's you know it's it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Mm -hmm. So we, we want to you know really help you in every way we can to really let, you know let you hit the ground running when you do decide that you know you want to you know make your, you know better yourself and make a life change mm -hmm. and it's not just blanket treatment either it's unique for every person that comes in that's that is such a good point so treatment is you is, is absolutely unique for each and every person so you know if someone comes through our doors you know they may they very well may not even you know be needing outpatient treatment. They may need something like rehab or a sober home. Is in, so it's it's not it, it isn't one treatment for all. It's determining yeah. which treatment uh, is is you know is right for that unique individual. Um, for us personally, we, you know we do obviously like I said we're an outpatient treatment program. Mm -hmm. So you know we do a comprehensive out -tre out outpatient treatment program. So with us, when someone comes through our door. Uh, you know, we're gonna, you know, we, we provide uh, medication assisted treatment for them. So we do MAT, the MAT, MAT program for them, mm -hmm. which means, you know, we're gonna give them, you know, medication for any kind of, you know, to offset any kind of cravings they have from their addiction um, and to help them with the withdrawal phase of their recovery. Um, you know, that's what we do. And then, you know, it's, it's, and, it, and it really trickles down from there. Like, we're gonna help you with counseling. We're gonna do therapy for you, like one-on-one -on -one therapy, group therapy, um, all of that. And then what you kind of said earlier is, when you asked me is, you know, we're going to help you out um, on the social support of things too, with you know housing, occupation, food, etc., stuff like that. So we really try to you know really cover all of our bases and really help the patient as best we can. And another point you made is 
not only accessibility, but affordability. It can be viewed as very expensive. That's such. That's another great point. Is there's 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 a few barriers that come along with um, that a patient faces when they want to get better, and one is the affordability of it. Is you know. We, at, us at Brightview, you know, we will take you know any and all insurances, like, and we won't turn anybody away um, at all. Like, if you come through our door, we will make sure that you know we are, we will do everything we can to make sure you get the child the proper treatment you need. Uh, and, and with you know, and by doing that, you know, we'll take you know all insurances. We are not going to turn anybody away. We want to make sure you get the proper help. And the fact that you're an outpatient service too, like. It allows someone to get treatment, but also still continue on with anything else they have going on in their lives. That is exactly it. Yeah. So that's one thing about outpatient treatment that I really think can really be beneficial to you know the everyday person is not a lot of people can go away to three to four weeks to rehab and just put their you know their work on hold and put their family on hold. Mm -hmm. You know that's you know that's that's important. You know family is important to people. Being able to work and make a living that's important to people. And you know a month away will prevent that. With us, that's exactly it. Is you can stretch outpatient, you know, treatment out your whole life. You could have a, a you know, a, an appointment a week, bi-weekly, once per month, you know, throughout the whole, you know, your whole life to, to just to ensure that you're going to continue to get better. So yeah, with outpatient, that's why I think it's such a valuable treatment because you can still get better and still have your everyday life where you're spending, you know, time with your family and still being able to work. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think it's just such a, a valuable thing to have is outpatient treatment. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So someone walks through your doors, comes in, what's, what's the process look like? So the process is, is you come in um, and you're obviously greeted, you take care of your, we'll, we'll take care of all the registration and all of that. And then from there, you know, you get your medical and clinical assessments. So you will, you know, we'll check your vitals, we'll do a drug screen. And then from there, that is when you'll, you'll meet our physician. And while you're with our physician, that is when, um, They'll, the physician will kind of determine, um, you know, what the next appropriate steps may be. Um, if it's medication, um, we will pres we will prescribe you medication, and you will take that medication if appropriate. Um, and then from there, it's you know you're you're scheduling your you know your, your week one assessment. So you're coming back just just to see how everything's going. But mm -hmm. also you're you're scheduling you know the remainder of your appointments you know throughout your outpatient program, however you you really may want that to be. But mm -hmm. also too in day one is when you, when you ask what day one is like it it, it can be different for everybody because like you know yeah. so everybody you know each person might have a different need or a different issue that they're dealing with so like we want to tackle it as soon as we can so if someone's you know dealing with you know they don't they need housing they need anything like that well, like we've discussed you know we're tackling that right on from day one. Mm -hmm. You definitely are, and another big thing I said talking about different very. Uh, barriers, different things you work through. There is a lot of stigma that yep. surrounds addiction. Yep. Unfortunately, that's it. But so stigma, yeah, stigma is it's it's that's something that you know it's it's really it's it's tough it's it's tough for someone struggling with addiction to deal with is the stigma of mm -hmm. being an addict, and and it's the first thing you you really you know we really talked about is that addiction is a disease, yeah. and people who suffer from addiction you know they should be treated like anybody else who's suffering from a different disease and it's mm -hmm. it's something that you know it, it, people you know they, they get harsh judgment they get harsh treat harsh treatment because of it um, but whereas like I said it, it's just a disease that they, they need help and it's you know it's important to really just like educate yourself um, you know make sure you're educated on you know on addiction you know get educated on you know, on Narcan and really do things like that to really help make your community a safer place but but also just have kindness and compassion for people who are going through addiction because uh, you know it's everybody's fi affected by addiction whether it's you know directly or indirectly directly and it's what you do as a community to, to really help you know get people better who are suffering from addiction because having that kindness and compassion is going to be far more helpful to them than being that, scared of judgment. That that's that's it. And 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 you know, personally at Brightview, like I I'm, you know, I think every center is, you know, obviously terrific cuz you know, everybody who works there has the common goal of wanting to help people. Myself personally and Lynn, I have an unbelievable staff, unbelievable mm -hmm. co-workers. Yeah. Um, they're all just incredible people where you know, a patient comes in, you know, the second time they're in the they come through the door, like we know their name. They're being called by their first name. You know, they feel like when they come in that, you know, they're being treated like, you know, a, 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 you know, like a person, mm -hmm. really. A person that's, you know, doing the right thing, trying to get better. Um, and our staff, my coworkers are just the, the people in Lynn are just terrific. And uh, I just we got we got a really good team in Lynn. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, incredible team that you've been working so well and doing so many things. And I'm circling about this a little bit because you mentioned someone sitting at home is saying, well, maybe they themselves don't suffer from substance use disorder, but what could they still do yeah, to help? Sure, that's, that's, a, that's a great question. Um, and it's common too, like everybody kind of, you know, not everybody, but you know, a lot of people, you know, they know someone that can be, you know, relatively close to them that is suffering from addiction. For starters, it's just, it's being, for, it's being there for them. Just being there for them in, in every way you can that, you know, you think is helping them get better. You mm -hmm. know, don't kind of just treat them, you know, in a different, in a different manner or a different tone just because they, you know, they're suffering from an addiction, you know, just, just be there, just be there to support them um, in any way you can. But, and if, and, and also too, it's, you know, Get kind of knowledgeable, knowledgeable of what's out there in your community. For example, for Lynn, you know, get get to know what's out there, you know, for for addiction uh, in programs that you know work with people suffering from addiction um, in the community of Lynn. There's a there's a ton out there. It's too many to name, and I don't want to start naming and forget and get people <laughs> mad, have people get mad at me. But uh, there's just so many ways that you know you can you can get help, especially in in, in the community of Lynn. Uh, so it's just kind of getting knowledgeable and uh, get, getting educated. And uh, the one thing about this epidemic is it's, it's not going away. It's yeah. not going anywhere anytime soon. So the more knowledge, knowledgeable you become of it, you know, the more people you can help. Definitely. And I think Bright you is one of many places that really helps people with that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have to wrap it up in a minute before I do. Is there anything else you wanted to say? No, I just, I just, I just wanted to uh, obviously thank you for giving us the platform to talk about Brightview. But uh, yeah, no, we, you know, the one thing about Brightview is, you know, there's there's many barriers to outpatient treatment. Stigma is obviously one, you know, big one that we've discussed. But you know, a lot of places try to, you know break down one barrier, two barriers. We really want to be the place that breaks down all the barriers. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we will, you know, we will take care of, you know, we'll provide uh, anybody who comes in, you know, doesn't matter the insurance, we will take you. Um, we provide transportation to all of our patients. So anybody who, you know, may not be able to use public transportation or have, you know, transportation of their own, we'll pick you up door to door. We'll drop you off at our facility. Wow. We'll, you know, we'll drop you back off where you, where you, uh, wherever you got picked up from. So we'll make sure like, you know, we'll get you there um, from door to door. And and also too, and one, and this is one that's pretty important as well, is someone can decide they want to make a you know a life change. They want to you know they want to overcome their addiction and, and get better. And they'll make a phone call and however they make an appointment, and that appointment will be you know three four weeks down the road. And that three four weeks, that's an important time in somebody's life when they're deciding that they want to get better. Oh, yeah. um, at Brightview, you know, we will guarantee that we will see you within 24 to 48 hours. Wow. So once you come, like we'll make sure you're seen right away. Um, because you know when you you make that decision, you make that decision to make a life change like that. You know we want to make sure we're there for you right away, and you know really not have any reason to prevent that from happening. Mm -hmm. So Brightview, you know we try to you know be a comp be a company that just really breaks down all the barriers and really and gives you every reason um, to get better once once you come through the door at Brightview. Um, we just want to do that, and we just want to do it with you know niceness, kindness, and compassion. Just making sure that you know each patient gets treated the same, and you know with the respect that they deserve, because you know they're the ones that are making the big you know mm -hmm. they're the ones that are making the big change. You come through the doors, you're the one making that life change to get better. And Brightview, you know, obviously wants to be there to you know help assist with that. Yes, it definitely sounds like you are, and I, I want to thank you again for coming on to share such an amazing thing. Thank you so much for having me. This was a, this was a cool experience. This is awesome. You okay. and you are awesome too. Okay. Thank you. I was you. very thank nervous you. before. She's awesome. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And once again, this has been the Lin Lowdown. I'm Danny Vittori. We'll see you next week with more guests. <laughs>